What's up everyone? I'm here today to show you the VistaSculpt software. It's the version 0.8.1. For those of you who didn't know, VistaSculpt is a software to create bas relief model from a single image. The software is pretty complete as you can generate your own image directly into the software. You can see here, there's a couple of projects that I have done. And what I really like is the generation of image. It's really focused on creating best relief model with high contrast, uh, good color. So you're going to have pretty, pretty good detail model. And uh, I can show you a good, a quick, uh, maybe a quick test. We're going to, as the Halloween is coming up, we're going to create a creepy Halloween pumpkin. And each time you're going to create an image, it's going to cost you a credit. Depending the size of the image, it's going to cost you two credits for a simple 10 by 24 by 10 by 24 resolution and two credits for other resolution. You're going to have 200 credits every month from the first generation day. Yeah, pretty simple. But it's not at all. You can load your own image. So if you have any other AI software like Midjourney, ChatGPT, or whatever else AI, you can just upload your own, own image and uh, Vista Skull gonna do, create a model from them. So let's try to keep to create our creepy Halloween pumpkin. I'm gonna do it in 10 24 by 10 24 and generate. I'm gonna take a couple of seconds. I would like to see how, how it ends up. And what I like for now it's as you can see this image of a soldier I I have tried the same prompt in the uh, oh wow look at this I have tried to create the same prompt from into the Bing image creator and I was um, a warning that says that I cannot create soldiers image so I think there's less restriction into this software into the AI generation but for now look at this model it's pretty pretty damn good gonna apply on here on the side gonna have your edit image if you ever want to remove the background you can try but for this one is yeah at this at the image is pretty full you're gonna just keep it as it I'm gonna restore the default and good you always needs you always need to be aware of the shadows and lightning when you create depth map if you have too much shadows and too much contrast, it's going to affect the overall model. But for this one, I think it's going to be good. So we're just going to hit apply. Close. Here, on the right side, going to have all your settings to create your model. The depth scale, detail scale, simplification factor, the Z limit, the smoothing. The depth scale is going to be... Depth scale and detail scale is going to be the two ones that you know play the much more. Because the depth scale is just the overall depth of the 3D model. The higher the value, they create the deeper relief. As I need to, as I want to create a 3D model that's going to be 3D printable, I don't want to have uh, too much depth to create a, I don't know if you're going to understand, too much high and low. So we're going to keep it, I think, at 5 and the detail scale, I'm going to lower it maybe at 30 yeah, or around simplification factor keep it at one the z limit gonna increase it maybe at five or six smoothing i keep it at auto optimize polygon yes select quality ultra for sure and generate 3d model so it's gonna take a couple of minutes to create the model uh, as if you can take a look on the other side, here the rotation is going to be all the panel of the model. So we can uh, rotate the model. And there's a cool tool that's uh, going to enable to modify the model once created. The brush. So you can add material, remove material, and flattening. Sometime, with the, as I said, with the lining in the shadows, there's going to be some area that's going to be way more higher than others. So you can do some quick some quick fix directly into VistaSculpt so it's pretty useful 
but if you want to add a, to add more detail i would suggest to do to do it directly in blender maybe it's gonna be a, a little bit easier i think so we're gonna let it run it's, it take a couple of minutes to create the model and see the result after all right the model is finished to process it took around yeah five minutes and a half to just oh yeah to complete the model look at that we we'll just create an amazing 3d model at this point the model it's not uh, solid it's just a representation as my name i'm gonna need to solidify the model if i need if i want to 3d print it it take a couple of seconds to solidifying the model i'm gonna let it run good you can see we just add a little bit of thickness to it but there's gonna be section that the it's gonna be pretty thin, pretty thin too so when you're gonna export the model you're gonna need to what I do I add a little plane underneath it to be able to print it but wow it's pretty damn good it looks okay to me there's no error or whatever I could maybe soften the edge of the leaf to be able to print it without support well, I think it might be okay if we use the the V for flattering we could just maybe oh, we're gonna increase the strength and the size of the brush pass on the edge of the, f the leaf to make sure that's gonna be able to print them yeah that's not exactly what I want but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be okay to lower the angle so we could 3d print them just like that I'm doing it pretty fast avoid getting too close to the edge so you won't deform the model I'm just gonna do a little pass around and you only need to keep the V touch activated and drag the cursor it doesn't even need to click you drag your, your mouse with the model and do the job for you it's pretty easy pretty straightforward and look the quality of this model just in five minutes you have a pretty pretty standout model that would do look at that look at the skill at the top i could just add maybe a little bit of detail in blender it's gonna be amazing so yeah i'm gonna export the model export desktop Here you can see my processing once the model is exported from VistaSculpt. First of all, you're gonna need to repair the model. And after that, you will see I'm gonna add a plane to it. I'm gonna scale it to the same size. And I'm gonna bound them together. So I'm gonna make sure that the model have a little bit more thickness to make sure that uh, when I'm gonna 3D print them, it's gonna print well. And what I like to do also is to cut all the four border of the model because sometimes the, the edge are not sharp. So it will be the, our last step to make sure that we have a great model. So we'll see the model printed.